We all have those houses in real life which we dream of living in. We look them up on house selling websites, but sadly, I don't actually have five million pounds to buy one. So I thought we'd live our fantasies through Bloxburg, and today I'm building a realistic boho house, and I want to make this a series, so comment down below what style house I should build next. Okie dokie, guys, so we're diving headfirst into this. I don't have too much of an idea of what I want to do yet. I always like to build my houses a bit far back from the park, just so it leaves room for a front garden. But I will just say this build is mainly going to be about the interior. So I'm not actually too fussed about this. Because when I looked up boho exterior, there's about 100 different styles of houses. I was like, what is boho then? The exterior I'm taking my inspiration from is this. They do have rather interesting looking roofs, don't they? These boho houses. And boho is a style I've never actually really dived into to before and a little building hack when you're doing roofs you don't just have to place them like this because that looks like trash like look at these little bits poking out the tip is to do them one by one and you can even do like fake roofs like this one is going to end halfway inside and now we're using my enemy guys this is literally my sworn enemy this roof i love it so much but look when we go inside what <laughs> I thought it's gonna be sticking in here. Hallelujah, let's have a party, people. They finally fixed the roof. And my other favorite thing about this roof is if it's facing the wrong way, just press R and it's the only roof you can actually turn around. <laughs> As far as base exteriors go though, I don't think this is too bad. I feel very like out of my comfort zone because I'm so used to just building like a similar style house and I need to find that perfect boho texture. It's orange wood. That's far too orange. We ain't in a giraffe's pen. And I forget, Bloxburg actually has front door. I normally look up the type of door, for example, French. Wee wee baguette. But anyway, like they actually have different types of front door. That's nice. No, it's different. That is unusual, that door. And for the windows, I'm obviously custom making this. What is this, 2013? Although rather than using that more modern one. I'm going to use the clear one. You guys hammer me if I use the modern one. You're like, Reese's, you're wasting all your molar. Even though I have a million dollars, I'm rich as hell right now. But watch that all be gone by the end of this video. And I do hope this is boho. <laughs> I actually like that a lot. And it's something about grey Bloxburg houses actually looks aesthetic, doesn't it? I love this stage of building a house. And the colour, I know exactly what I'm doing, guys. Vertical planks. Just before we do the rest of the window, I actually build my house in a really weird order, but I do advise following it. So what I've done is I've obviously just set a base for the outside. But before we go around adding all the windows, I then like to plan the inside layout. And that's purely because I get sick and tired when the walls do this. Cannot place it, cannot place it. And that happens a lot if you place the windows first. So hope that explains that. And if you're curious, the layout I've come up with is garage, kitchen, slash dining, hallway, living room, and gym. Yeah, that's right, guys. We're having a gym in this boho house, yeah? And then upstairs, we have hallway, bedroom one, bedroom two, bathroom, bedroom three, and ensuite. And of course, the balcony. Now that we've got the walls in, we can add the windows to comfortably fit the layout. I actually think I have done a grand job at making these windows look realistic. Round of applause for me. My avatar's like, you ain't dead special. To be fair, fun fact, I actually learn a ton of my building skills from you guys. You give me tips in the comments and then suddenly I'm a pro builder. So in the picture I'm using, and I know I'm referencing this a lot, but it's very nice. There was bushes along this wall. Now, blocks per bushes are not the most realistic thing in the world. However, if we want realistic bushes, I feel like these corn ones actually are quite a good substitute. The center of the boho community is the boho tree. So this might look like a cherry blossom tree, but it's not guys, this is a boho tree. <laughs> Oh my Gideon. That neighbor would be getting very mad about the overshadow on their shrubs. Pond might also look quite my Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! What is that? What's happened here? <laughs> Bloxburg and the glitches lately. I feel like I'm in the matrix when I'm playing. Okay, so I added some bohemian looking plants out here. By bohemian, I literally mean a pineapple, some daisies, and whatever this big lump is. Finally is the swing chair. And over here, we can just have a little wicker garden set. We are now set to go inside. I've got a set like a mind reminder. Pay attention to detail, Reese's, when we're doing this, okay? And I think what's gonna help me with that is doing the lounge room first. And oh my gosh, what's just happened? <laughs> what's happened? If you look up boho house, click after click 
after click. It's all living rooms. So I think since there's the most inspiration for living room, I thought we'd start off with it. First things first, walls are all entirely white. And this is literally giving me anxiety. I've changed my mind on these back windows. I think we can get away with having a little bit of like a double door system. I personally don't think that looks that out of place or out of pocket. First thing that I'm going to add is a painting. This here just looks like some tacky blocksy cola thing. But if we make it into a square already, doesn't this kind of look like the inspo pit? Next up, they have a really nice corner sofa. But do I look like a noob? Don't answer that question. I'm not just going to add this L-shaped sofa. That is a very silly mistake. Strangely, I actually think the wicker one might work best. And I know this is meant to be outdoor seating, but if we colour it right, I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, that looks different. Uh, I'm zooming in on the coffee table right now. Why the flame in hell is it just on the floor? Rather than using the wicker coffee table and being basic, you're basic. We can make our very own. Trying to work out the dimensions of this. Can we have them all at different levels? You raise me up. I feel like I'm always eating in videos. And you guys seem to really be interested in what I have. So today I have some blue Doritos. There's some chairs on this side, which it doesn't look like Bloxburg has. And yes, I could custom build them, but nobody wants to see me struggle with that. They actually look kind of cool, you know. On this side, I am going to be adding a built-in shelf unit. And that kind of looks good, even with nothing on it. But we're going to put some books, which I'm actually quite excited because I never use the uneven books. But why are they actually such a good look? This can just be decorated pretty scarcely, to be fair. That looks spectacular to me. And we can only imagine on this side is where the TV is. The only shame is you can't actually change the colour of the fire, which I think is a little bit weird. It's actually really triggering me that orange. Maybe if we like candle or something above, it can help to disguise it. And every atom in my body is reaching into the decorations to just fill up. I really think we've just got to trust. Oho is really all about minimalism. So that's the living room done. And now we can get really back to the orderly fashion. To tie all the rooms in together, we'll have white walls. Holy cow! I forgot this room's two story. Also, why did I just say holy cow? Like I'm in some sort of sitcom. Holy cow, Joey. I told you not to do that. Other than adding my typical chandelier, which I would love to add right now, we've got to stick with the bohemian. And I kind of feel like this angled pipe one looks rather splendid. And we can really use these on the walls that are a bit blank. Keeping it plain and simple. Doors to the gym and garage, as you say in the United States. I'm then adding this black and gold little counter unit and maybe even this. I know that's meant for like a high school teen desk, but if we color it orange, it just immediately looks boho. At the end, I'm having this outdoor bent because what's more boho than having an indoor outdoor look? And I definitely think we're in need of a carpet, but I'm not going to add a basic one. No. Building hacks with reset. Get yourself a transparent cube and make it so small. That is so tiny, it's almost invisible. Next up, you're going to go into all and paintings and you have to select this plain huge one, okay? It's one of the only ones that will work. Then search up carpet. That is how you get a detailed carpet in Bloxburg. And this is actually a really unique looking entry hall. It might be a bit bright, but we can sort that out when we come in. And for the garage, I kind of doubled it up as a laundry room while still adding a vehicle, which I'm telling you now, this is one of my favorite rooms. For the gym, I'm gonna have to look up Boho Gym. <gasps> okay, so for the floor, I know exactly what to do. We're definitely using this plaid texture, maybe in a hurricane gray. They had their walls as sage green. What a brilliant Boho color. So we really aren't gonna add much in here at all, mainly because I ain't even unlocked half of this stuff. I'm sorry, I'm just not an athlete in real life or blocks back. But I think maybe along this wall, we'll have a couple of treadmills. So you can at least do it with your pals. They actually had like wooden equipment. Obviously we're not going to make the punch bags wooden. You blimmin' knock your knuckles off. I am going to use that same method we used in this room. On this, we can then put like the barbells. On the thinner ones, we can have the dumbbells. And then I just decorated this accordingly to a gym. I've added two hula hoops because who else at school when you used to get the hula hoops out? I used to like steal them all and Nice to try to spin around with like 10 hula hoops on me. That is just a childhood experience that we all did. What a lovely little boho gym we have. Following that, we have the kitchen. I know y'all all been waiting for this. Are you ready for it? <laughs> The floor in this kitchen is going to be the darkest of oak. And I've actually doubled it up. Ooh! Okay, people. Although we're not going to be using linen today. It's actually going to be white wood. I feel like Boho's got a touch of Victorian in it. You know, Queen Victoria's coming here. She spies things up, guys. I don't quite know why I'm putting a hood over, <laughs> over a kitchen sink. But... And something that's kind of unheard of in England. I don't know if you do this in other countries. But if you had a table lamp in your kitchen, people would be like, what the hell are you doing? I'm actually going to make a custom lamp. Hello? How do you? 
you do this? We've got a custom lamp going on. Also, the rest of the appliances, which we should queue up in an orderly fashion. Down here is where we're going to have a secondary sink. And then the oven is actually going to go in one of these little staple cabinets. And I've just realized the cabinets don't match the counters. But why does that actually look good? The middle, we're not going to add a classical island. It's going to be a dining table. Two dining tables intertwined. And this is going to be more of the chef's worktop. So we'll have some ingredients out on here. And I know you might be thinking, Reese's, why are you using these McDonald's looking restaurant stools? Like I said, today's all about Bohemian. So it doesn't actually matter if I'd normally use them. So that's the kitchen portion of the room done. But if you remember, this is going to be a dining room as well. And I'm going to use this carpet, but we obviously got to place the table down first. So we won't be able to. And I think we could actually set the table as well, make it real fancy. And I might even add a plant on top of each plate. At risk of repeating myself too much, I'm going to add another one of these shelves. Finally, we've got to remember that little rug we were going to put in. What is going on here? Let's stop these little nuggets poking through. And if we go upstairs, you'll notice I've actually done a little bit of pre-planning, pre-decoration. Added some boho inspired textures on the wall. So I want to start off with the master bedroom. No, the best should come first. People say save the best for last. No way, jump in and get it before it's gone. A boho bedroom usually will have bed frame that is four posters. I honestly think this color scheme is a shout. If we were to do green with pillows, really stepping it up then, I'm also going to include some circle ones because these kind of have that vibe as well. Like, it's not the vibe. Stop! At the end of the bed, we're going to have these armchairs, which are called modern armchairs. I think they look a little bit more hippie. And the closet doesn't need to be huge, said no one ever. Closets always need to be huge, okay? So we'll actually have the closet wrap around, and then maybe the chair can be next to it. Calling all barbs. Calling all barbs. we got to have another porch chair. I don't know why I just turned into Nicki Minaj, but... oh, that's a cute little outdoor area. Now it's time for the ensuite bathroom. So in the middle, we're going to have one of these barrel tubs. And if you've been a fan of the channel for a while now, you'll know what I pretty much always do when it comes to sinks. I'll grab a basic cube. On top of them, I'll put a bog standard sink. How much better do these look? Because Bloxburg doesn't have actual bowl sink. The shower is actually going to be combined with the bath just to save us a little bit of space. Okay. And then over here, we have room for a proper toilet and shelf. You'll see, that looks good to me. For the other bathroom, I think we should go for a little bit more of a grey look. However, still using similar items. Oh, <gasps> Delicious. And I actually made like a little custom shower. How cute is that? For this bedroom, I've kind of used the same same bed, but it's more of a blue color scheme. Blue. In between here, we're actually going to have a little vanity. On it, we can put some more of those classical boho items. And for the last room, all I've added that's a little bit different is this kind of seating area in front of the fireplace. Finally, a little bit of modern art means our boho family home is completo. So let me change the decals and we will go and look around. Okay, chickens, here we are outside of the boho family home. If you're curious, you can build this for yourself with the car for only 342,000 for a three bedroom, two bathroom family home. That's quite the reduction from the 5 million we were looking at at the start. Of course, the outside is a gem. If we fly around, it all matches up meticulously. And even the front garden has its very own nice flair. As we venture in through the gates, this is so different. So I know this isn't going to be for everyone, but that's why I want to make it a series. So each time a different piece people will like different ones. But the hallway in itself, you've got to admit, it's at least unique. You should be able to appreciate it. To the left, we have the garage slash laundry room. This is actually very, very pleasant. We do get our little Hagrid style motorbike. And I'm not going to work. I'm at my new boho house. And this laundry room. Look how sleek. I'm actually architect of the year over here, people. Truly an astonishing room. Just opposite, we have the gym, which at first look is tremendous. And I love how I'm using all these big words today. I'm a new dictionary. But yeah, this is just a place where you can burn off all the calories from eating all of your lunches and stuff, which will be made in the kitchen. So as the biggest room in the house, I thought I had to go out with a bang. <laughs> And I definitely think I made a bang. The kitchen itself is really, really nice. I love how much sunlight it gets. Maybe even a little bit too much. I love how boho can also look so Victorian. And then over here's the dining table. I love it. It's like this could actually be a family role play house. Finally downstairs. I oh, can't get over this hallway. We have the living room. This was the first room we did. I love, love, love this room. I honestly feel like this is probably the proest room that we actually did. As we venture upstairs, we have another few rooms. First of all, we have 
have a guest bedroom. This is more I like to call the green room. We've got green paintings, green closets, although not a green bed. You know, it's a reasonable room. Opposite that, we have the family bathroom, which is a little bit more interesting. I love this custom shower because this way, the water is not going to overflow everywhere. Our last bedroom before the master one is actually so, so cute. cute. I probably would pick this one, although the other one does have a bathroom, which if we head over to now, I should join opera. Not only is this bedroom the biggest, you get a huge bathroom, which is actually bigger than the family bathroom. You can do your hair up, check your nails, tell me how you're feeling. Finally, you can let your hair dry on the balcony. Hopefully all of you guys enjoyed watching me build this boho house. Thank you so much for watching this. Subscribe if you enjoyed it and I'll catch you all next time.